Voyager, Doctor. I was hoping for some Enterprise cards. Didn't come across them. Thinking about the trivia in my hand right now. Uh, not much. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm disappointed by the quote cards or not, because they're just quotes. And some quotes you can talk about, and others you can't. And we don't know... Oh, wait a minute. Yes, we do. Well, I'm giving the... I, okay, I'll give the cards more credit, because we have an episode, which I've talked about this one before. This was the one with... Uh, this is the Sarah Silverman one, right? And Ed Bailey Jr. And this is where the uh, the doctor gets the mobile emitter, and it's pre-7 of 9, and hilarity ensues, and it's all in 1996, and it's very, very 1996. Everything about it is 1996. So there you go. What's the flip side? And investigations. I don't know that episode off the top of my head. It looks like Neelix and the doctor are, are having are having a time as they as they want to do and uh there you go all right okay so uh given that this is the card on the top of the deck and it's more voyager so the stars align for a voyager couple moments I'm going to call this a few moments with voyager no that 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 doesn't doesn't work for folks so this is seska i'm a uh, I'm watching the first season Voyager right now, and I tell you something about Seska. And I remember watching when it first aired these first couple episodes. I'm like, oh, I'm glad they're bringing in just a secondary character named Seska. That's going to be a nice beat. It didn't quite turn out that way, which I, I kind of didn't like. I, I would rather you have the Bajoran Seska who was just, just doing doing her thing. But the fates had it a different way. So this episode, they get captured. Uh, the ship lands. Everybody was all about, ooh, look, the ship can land. And uh, they're, taken, they're taken hostage. Is this the Lon Suter episode where he goes nuts? Lon Suter, great actor. Uh, I'll have to find the actor's name later. But the actor shows up in Deadwood and... It's a fine performance in, in Deadwood as the uh, as the doctor. But he played Lon Suter, the psycho Maquis guy here, and th there were some good beats. I don't know what that episode is, but I, I look forward to watching it again as I'm, as I'm watching the first season and the second seasons of The Voyager. So, what kind of questions do we have? So this episode, I don't know the name. Um, we're going to find out soon enough, and we're going to see how much of my recall I have with the episode. And then later on, I'll go watch it and, 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 and think, oh, I didn't know that at the time. So, okay, let's see what focus we get on these questions. <laughs> All right, see, these are the cards that the doc cam was made for. Oh, it's worst case scenario, so I'm totally off on everything. In this episode, like, it's later on. In, in the run of the series. I don't know. It's like maybe... Is it after season four? Because they wanted to remember that there was... The Maquis was supposed to be something. And so they find like two Vox pro security program in the holodeck. Worried about a Maquis takeover of the ship. And that's a reason to bring Seska back. Even though she's a hologram. And then, of course, Seska... While she was on the ship, she found out that this holo... That this holo program existed. And I think she did something to it. And as always... Again, hilarity ensues. So there you go. So that's worst case scenario. I I don't remember any much else about that episode. I think I covered it. So good good. Thanks for okay. Well, we can call it the end of the episode. Uh, so who was what was the purpose of the insurrection alpha scenario? I think I've already answered this in the uh, synopsis I just gave of the episode. So let's see what I did. So, no. No. Yes, it was It was all for a Maquis Mutiny. Maquis Mutiny also be a fine name for a, a Trek tribute band, but well, we'll leave that alone. Now, I'm guessing if it passes any experience, this whole card's going to be on worst-case scenario. You remember the fun we had with Equinox? That... At this time, only like less than 20 people viewed, uh, but um, okay. You know, my my issue is, you know, what what to what to label the Voyager 
uh, rounds that, that get... Does no one like Voyager? I thought Voyager was in resurgence with the Prodigy show. And no? No? Okay. Well, there we go. Worst case scenario. Yes, we get it. it they're all going to be about worst case scenario. I think we're good. Who programmed the Insurrection Alpha program? Well, again, I answered this in my synopsis that I just gave of the episode. So it's it's Tuvok. I love the cards that do uh, that I do all the work for before I even read the question. Um, sometimes I do that in job interviews, and when I do, I know that I'm not getting that job. But that's that's the way the the brain sorts itself out. So yes, it's Tuvok. <laughs> Question three in, in, in the episode, worst case scenario. Okay, we're good. Just let's call the card worst case scenario card. These are my favorite cards though. I, I gotta admit, I like that there's a variety in this, this 2000 set of cards. I don't know who makes them, where they make them, uh, but uh, they're a lot of fun. I still have the tin for the game. I don't know if it came with the game. I don't care. Where did uh, Balana find the program insurrect? Ooh, okay. So, so this one is is a challenge. Although I think I might have found I, I've already answered this in the synopsis I just gave of the episode. Wasn't this buried in some files that let's just say Balana was going through to to purge something? Uh, I don't know. It's it's it. Someone stumbles on the file while they were doing something. So maybe maybe this question is asking, who was doing what when? We discover such things. Um. Sorry, I thought the camera was like a split second off from. It is. I'm, no. Where did they? Where was the program found? Okay, um, I, I I don't know. The auxiliary database. Okay, so that there you go. And it's odd that it's a database and not a memory bank. I miss the term memory bank. I think we should go back to that. That's just my two cents on that. So I got that one wrong. I'm gonna I'm gonna let this go. Yes, Seska pre-programmed the booby trap to take over. When did she? Well, you mean when in the program did she? To, or when when she was on when she was on the ship still as a Bajoran? That's that's when she did it because there was no other way she would been on the ship. Okay, so it's within the program itself. Um, I I guess when you activate the narrative parameters file then the the Seska one program takes over okay ooh 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 i don't i'm just going to say enterprise cuz i don't i've never recognized the the actor who plays Seska in other trek i'll have to keep my my eyes open next time, but uh, let no. This is a this is a card from the year two thousand, so it's before Voyager. Oh, let, oh, I got it, I got it. Deep Space Nine. When they first get the Defiant, she plays the Romulan officer in charge of the cloaking device. That's it. I don't know the officer's name, but that's what. You, what well, it's right in front of me. To rule. Thank you. No, that. Thanks. Question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's that's where she she comes in. There we go. That was a good episode of uh, Deep Space Nine. I like that. That was was that the beginning of season three when they bring the Defiant in because Next Gen's done and they have that whole um, Dominion episode, which is still they're basically in a holog holographic sim simulation anyway. But it's kind of cool uh, the beats and and all that just to test what the Federation would do when blah 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 blah. And um, that's the end of the card. So today we took the uh, we took the time machine back to the year two thousand, and learned about Trek from that point of view. 
look, it's Trek before CBS or, or Viacom or any, well, it, it's, it's all Paramount. Um, so there we go. So that is, um, that is a little fun we can have with, uh, with the Voyager episode. And, um, and this round was a bit of a letdown because I had nothing, nothing truly amusing to say. And the springboards didn't quite happen. But, uh, you know, uh, I can't bring the gold nuggets every day, can I? And I was just testing out this new camera I have that, that seems too sharp uh, for me. But uh, I'll deal with that. Now, now I'm synced again somewhat. When I move my hand, I don't see it like a half second later. Nah, I don't think I am. All right, well, you know, I let myself down today. Not a bad episode, but I guess I just don't have anything to say about it, except that uh, now I want to go watch that Deep Space Nine episode that the actor who played Seska also guest starred in. And uh, I'm, I'm going to get on with, with my day, and you should too. Oh, my stop button's up here.